Hello, everyone. I'm just going to share this testimony now, um, and this is a this is a crazy testimony. But I'll tell you right now, it's every single word of this is completely true. It's God as my witness. And so basically, um, this quite happened quite a while ago when I first got saved, and I was on my way to a Christian festival down in um, Norfolk or somewhere, and uh, I'd got on this train, and. Um, I'd got off the, uh, off the train two hours before where I was supposed to get off and ended up in this place, I, I don't even know where it was but I was two hours away from where I was supposed to be and then um, <coughs> I started asking people, oh I need to get to this place and someone said, oh yeah you can, you can get on a bus down there and so I went down to this bus stop they told me to go to and I was at this bus stop and there was um, a lot of people at this bus stop and uh, I started preaching the gospel to these people because I literally just first got saved. I was full of the fire of the Lord and I was just telling everyone about Jesus. And I had my t-shirt on that said, I'm the Christian the devil warned you about. And then it said, um, like the scripture in James where it says, resist the devil, submit to God, resist the devil and he will flee. And I had my, a cross on as well at the time. And so I'm there talking to these people about Jesus, right? And then... Um, well, actually, yeah, another part of the testimony. So before I got saved, I used to be into a lot of new, uh, new age stuff, yeah? And uh, I used to do a lot of meditation and, you know, astro travel and all this weird type of stuff, yeah? Opening your third eye and stuff. And it, and, and I was doing this meditation, this was like years before I got saved. And I, and I was like, um, in my mind, I'd, I'd sort of like, I'd gone, come out of my body. And um, I was like, basically at the time I was, in my mind, I was fighting against the... Illuminati at the time because at the time I was into all this conspiracy stuff and in my mind I was like blowing up the Illuminati and blowing up the pyramids and all this stuff and then all of a sudden in my mind I saw a vision which I know it was a demonic vision and um, I saw a, a throne and I saw a guy sitting on a throne and he had a, a black woman standing next to him with his hand on his sh uh, her hand was on his shoulder and I remember the guy he had a white suit on and he had a big piercing eyes and big massive teeth and he was a really big guy you know, like close to seven foot tall and I remember seeing this guy and he was just looking at me in this vision he was just laughing at me and I just didn't really understand what what had happened at that time and then anyway going back fast forward to I got born again got saved and I'm in this bus station um, and then I'm just there talking to these people there's a lot of people around and as I'm talking to these people, I look over the shoulder and I notice in the distance, across the across the road, a good like 200 meters away, I notice this this guy and I, he's just a striking guy. It were a, it were a busy day. I think it might have been a Saturday day, and there were people all over. I just noticed this guy standing out, yeah, and he was walking straight across. He, he, he was on the other side of the road, and he walked across the road without even looking, without even looking left or right. And I was my eye was drawn straight to him straight away. Because it looked like he was staring at me, even though he was far away. And I noticed he's walking towards, getting closer and closer. And I noticed there were two young girls standing behind him, yeah? And they were standing about a couple of metres behind him. And they were at least a metre apart on either side. And they was walking with their heads down. These two young girls looked like about 13, 14 years of age. And, um, you know, it was just really weird anyway this this guy comes walking straight into the bus station all the time his eyes are firmly fixed on me and i'm looking at him thinking this is weird and as he got gets closer and closer and closer to me i realized i looked at him and i seen the piercing eyes them big massive piercing eyes and them big teeth that i seen in the vision years before that guy was sat on a crown and crown on a throne and he walks straight up to me this guy no word of a lie, and he comes straight up to me, and he, he goes, why don't you get on that bus there and stay on it until you feel like you're bleeping your sister? You know, and basically said something very, very rude, yeah? And I was like, looking at him like in amazement, like, who? And I, I recognized the guy, and I was just like in shock, and then he, he just literally just said them words to me, right? And then he just turned around, and then the two girls that were behind him, they like parted out of his way. He walked straight through them two girls. And then um, the two girls waited a, a good couple of metres until he got in front. And then their heads down there followed him. Now, I, be I believe this was either the devil himself. Because the Bible says 
that the devil is walking around um, like a roaring lion seeking who he can devour, going to and fro in the earth, this is what the Bible says. Now it was either the devil himself or it was someone very high in command. Someone very high in command. And um, in my past life I, I had a lot of demonic strongholds in me before I came to Christ. And so I, I don't know if it was the devil himself or it was somebody very high in command, but I'll tell you now, it was the freakiest thing that's ever happened to me to this day. And then straight straight after that happened, after he started to walk away, all the people were there like, what, that was well weird, did you know that guy? Did you know that guy? I said, I said, I said, I've never seen, obviously I've seen him before in the vision, but I said to them, no, I didn't know him, because I didn't know him personally. And they was all like, that was well weird, what was all that about, yeah? And I was just telling them, yeah, you know, this is what this is what we're up against, demonic forces. And I started preaching more. And then just at that very moment, as I started talking to them more, I felt a tap on my shoulder. This is no, I'm not making this up, this is 100% truth. And uh, I felt a tap on my shoulder. And I turned around and there's a little old guy standing there with glasses on, with white hair. And he just looks at me, taps me on the shoulder, he says, you need to come with me quickly come with me you need to come up here there's the train that you need to get on right now and so without any question or without any thought of who this guy was i just literally just listened to him and just followed him i don't even know why i did i just i just looked at him in, and i was in shock and i just went all right then and just followed him and i followed this guy and he walked me up through the bus station and he pointed out to this train he said go and get on that train now and stay on that train that's your train and i was like what is even happening, yeah? Like, I'm pretty sure that guy who just pointed me that direction was a flipping angel. And I was like, you know, one minute I'm seeing this devil come up to me, telling me to get on a bus till I feel like I'm bleeping my sister. I mean, how he even knew I had a sister? Obviously, I've got sisters. And then the next thing, yeah, there's this other guy standing there telling me I need to get on this train quickly, go now. And I'm like, what is going on, yeah? This is absolutely the craziest thing ever. And it's like, you know, I've, I've read, like, stuff in the Bible where the devil was tempting Jesus and other people of, in testimonies, similar sort of thing have happened to them. And then, um, it didn't stop there, right? And then, so I got on this train and I'm sitting on this train. I've got two hours to go on this train. And, and uh, before I got saved as well, I was proper into Oasis. I don't know if you've heard of Oasis, if you want. They're just a, a rock and roll band from England. And um, basically, um, I would proper idolise the Oasis. I loved them. I loved them so much, yeah. And uh, I've been to see them a number of times, and I just loved Liam and Noel Gallagher. And so anyway, I'm sat on this train, and I'm just sat there minding my own business, right? And then this, this guy gets on the train, right? This big fat guy, like an Indian type looking guy. And he had all his hair slicked back in a right, like weird style. And he had a really, like, you know, thinly shaved beard, you know, like a really, like, um, entrepreneur type looking guy, yeah? Like, and anyway, this guy, big Indian guy, gets on the train and he comes and he sits right flipping opposite me. And so he's looking at me and I'm looking at him. And so, anyway, he's, he's, we started having this conversation, me and this guy. And, and then he, he starts telling me um, about this um, guru that he's into. And how he's a multi-millionaire. And um, I'm like, all, well, I'm a Christian, I'm, I believe in God and that. And I'm starting to a little bit about God. And he's like, oh, you don't want to believe in all that crap. That's a load of crap. He said, that's just made up, that stuff. You don't want to believe in that. He's like, I'm telling you now, you want to believe, right? I'll give you the name of this guru. He said, look up this guru. And I used to be into like gurus and stuff before I got saved as well. And yogis and all these weird types of, you know, Eastern religion type stuff. And um, basically he said, you want to be into this guy? He said, I've, I've, he said, I've followed him. He said, I'm a millionaire now. And he turned around to me and he said, I am um, friends with Liam and Noel Gallagher, Oasis. I'm friends with their manager. And he basically says to me, he can introduce me to Liam and Noel Gallagher. Would I like to meet Liam and Noel Gallagher? And I was like, what is even going on here? Yeah? I couldn't even believe what was happening. Yeah? My head was like, Pew, yeah. I was like, is this, is this even happening? Yeah? I'm getting invited. This guy's basically saying to me, if I listen to him, he can make me a millionaire. And he can introduce me to my, what had been my idols for years, Liam and Noel Gallagher. 
and he can introduce me to Oasis. And I'm just like thinking in my head, what is going on? This is just not long after that guy has seen that other devil in the bus station. And I know exactly what's going on. I've read the Bible, Jesus getting tempted. The devil offered him all the kingdoms of the world, offered him all the riches. And the devil is offering me saying if I follow him he can make me a millionaire I can be friends with Liam and Noel Gallagher or Wiss I'm like nah mate I just said to this guy nah mate it's alright I said I've got Jesus mate and I'm going to stick with that I said I'm quite more than happy with that and then um, you know he was like well he told me to write some stuff down because I had like a pen and paper with me and that yeah he said here write this down yeah so I just I, I said these words I pretended to write them down I didn't even write them down because I thought I'm not writing anything this devil says and then um and then after that, yeah, um, he just uh, he just dis got off the train and that was it. So I just want to share that testimony with you. I hope it blesses everyone. God bless you all out there. And uh, believe in Jesus Christ because he is the only way, the truth and the life. And no man gets to the Father but by him. God bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless.